Hi, I'm Jen from the Jersey Beauty Company and I'm here with Victoria from Dermalogica to chat all about SPF. Being proactive and taking care of our skin is really important as we age. Um, and using an SPF, not just in the summertime, is key, mm -hmm. which is why Dermalogica have got such a good range yeah. of SPF products. Um, so I thought we'd chat through the different SPF products available um, so people can decide which one is best for their skin. Yeah. And so it's not which one should they decide to use an SPF, it's which one is best for their skin because it is yeah. something that we should be using. Yeah. So we're going to chat through each one and find out which skin type it's good for and um, what are the different benefits of each one. So before we, we talk through these products, let's just chat a little bit about the sun's rays mm -hmm. so that people know what it is that they're using an SPF to protect their skin against. Yeah, I think the reason why most people associate SPF use with the summer mm -hmm. is because um, using an SPF will um, prevent you from burning yeah. if you use an adequate SPF and you use it properly and apply it enough. So we're defending our skin against UVB rays, so mm -hmm. B for burning, um, in the summer months, hotter climates, yep. so we can stop ourselves from burning and damaging our skin. Um, but we also have UVA rays, yep. so UVA or A for aging, um, and the impact of UVA is that it does penetrate deeper into the skin but you can't feel it. Yeah. And UVA is the same strength from dusk till dawn all year round. So it's quite different to UVB, which is just yeah, not high just energy. on a sunny day. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, UVA can also penetrate through cloud, windows, glass. So even indoors, you're not yeah. um, you know, kind of safe from, from UVA as well. So all Dermalogica sunscreens are what's called broad spectrum. Mm -hmm. And that means that they protect against UVB and UVA across that spectrum. Yeah. Um, and our new Invisible Physical Defense SPF 30 also will defend against blue light, which comes from the sun, but also things like our mobile devices and screens. Yeah. So how does an SPF help protect our skin against these rays? Well, they will defend against um, UVA and UVB rays if it is a broad spectrum mm -hmm. um, sunscreen. But it's also important to note that there is no such thing as a sunblock, so you can't block out 100% of these UV yeah. rays either, which is why at Dermalogica we like to fortify our SPFs with additional ingredients, mm -hmm. mainly around antioxidant capacity, yeah. um, so that that oxidative stress or free radical damage that we get from these UV rays um, are also being kind of quenched and, and supported as well. If we don't defend against um, UV rays, what you will find, particularly as you hit your 30s and into your 40s, you'll start to see the years of accumulative sun damage appear. Yeah. Premature aging, lines, wrinkles, and pigmentation, and worst case scenario, skin cancers. So if you are a younger viewer watching this, now's the time to definitely start introducing an A hundred percent. The single best thing you can do for your skin in mm. order to preserve its health is to wear a sunscreen every day, definitely. So some of these sunscreens are, are described as physical sunscreens and some are described as chemical. Mm. What is the difference? The key difference is that um, they just work in a different way. Yeah. So a chemical sunscreen, which is the majority of the sunscreens that we have and probably what most people use yeah. when they use a sunscreen, um, they work by absorbing those UV rays. Yeah. Um, a chemical reaction takes place in the skin and it's transformed into heat energy which is released through the tissues. So for most people, that's fine, it's, mm -hmm. it's not a problem, chemical sunscreens are, are great, yep. they're also um, great with their kind of water resistant properties, so it's great for being hot and sweaty and sporty yeah. and all those kinds of things. But certain skins can't tolerate the chemical sunscreen yeah. and, and what's happening within the skin. So then we have to look for a physical sunscreen which uses minerals such as um, zinc oxide or yep. titanium dioxide um, which are ground down into powders and then that leaves like a, a layer mm -hmm. on the surface of the skin to reflect the rays. So it just works in a different way. But typically, traditionally, physical sunscreens are quite white yep. on the skin. You've probably seen them, um, you know, cricketers with, yeah. you know, <laughs> so they could be quite obvious on mm -hmm. the skin. Um, and a lot of physical sunscreens on the market still are quite white on the skin. So mm -hmm. if you have a darker skin tone, they make you look quite ashy or bluey and, yeah. and don't really blend very well. So the key is not that chemical sunscreens are bad. No. It's just that chemical and physical, they protect the skin in a different way. Yes, and then you use whichever your skin Yeah, whichever tolerates. suits your skin. Yeah. So here we've got a range of the Dermalogica sun 
sunscreens that are available. I can see just from a glance that some have got SPF 50, like Protection Sport, mm -hmm. um, and some have got SPF 30, like Invisible Physical Defence. Can you just explain the significance of SPF 50 and SPF 30 for those yeah. that don't know? Well, um, there's not a huge amount of difference in terms of the amount of defence from the UV rays. So an SPF 30 will give you about 97% yep. um, protection mm -hmm. from UV rays and SPF 50 about 1% more. So that's the first yeah. thing that's not understood a no. lot of the time. You, you assume that an SPF 50 is much more defence, yeah. but it's literally 1%. So for us it comes down to overall formulation. Mm -hmm. Obviously the higher the number, the more of the sunscreen ingredient you have to put in, yep. um, which will affect the overall formula, the feel of it. Typically sunscreens can be heavy, greasy, yeah. pore clogging, we don't want any of that. So um, we do have a couple with an SPF 50, some with a 30, but an SPF 30 gives you a high protection from UVA and UVB, yep. so that would be our, our kind of staple minimum of an so SPF 30. So it is 30. a personal preference. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great, so let's um, dive right in and have a look yeah. at some of these products. So the first one we've got is the brand new Invisible Physical Defence, which is an SPF 30. Do you want to tell us a little bit about this? Yeah, so this is our, our new physical sunscreen. So what we're really proud of is that we've been able to create a physical sunscreen that is invisible mm -hmm. on all skin tones. So no white, no, no white, white cast. chalkiness. Um, you, you, we've tried it on, on really dark skins and it blends beautifully. Yeah. So that is your chemical free option yep. for all skin types and all skin tones. And then we've got Prisma Protect. This was launched last year, wasn't yes. it? And this again is an SPF 30. Is this a chemical sunscreen? That's a chemical sunscreen, yeah. The rest of them are all chemical yep. sunscreens. Um, Prisma Protect is a really good multitasking product. It's really good for all skin conditions. Uh, people who like multitasking products. So this is your moisturizer, yep. your SPF, um, it has drone technology to boost inner glow, it's very hydrating, mm -hmm. um, so this is a really great everyday multitasker moisturiser yeah. with SPF. So Invisible Physical Defence goes on top of your moisturiser, it does. this has a built-in moisturiser. Absolutely. And then Dynamic Skin Recovery is an SPF 50 and this is part of our Age Smart, mm. the Age Smart range. Yes. So this is a little bit more emollient, a little bit um, uh, more moisturising if you like than Prisma Protect. Yeah. Thinking about older skins mm -hmm. needing a little bit more moisturising, but it's actually got peptides in to help support collagen formation, very antioxidant, obviously a slightly higher SPF with mm -hmm. the SPF 50. So if you are concerned about ageing or your probably 40 plus, yep. then that's a really great everyday moisturiser with inbuilt um, SPF and some age management ingredients as well. Great. Um, and then moving on to Oil Free Matte, which is an SPF 30, this is part of the Active Clearing range. Yes. So this would ideally suit people who possibly struggle with breakouts. Absolutely. If your skin is oily, yep. congested, breaking out, this is your um, sunscreen. Um, so it actively mattifies the skin. So if mm -hmm. you're looking to you know, mop up excess oil, mattify. But it's also got the, the active clearing ingredients that really help to support yeah. minimizing breakout activity and congestion on the skin. So again, an everyday moisturizer, actively helping with mm -hmm. oiliness and congestion and giving you that SPF defense as well. Yeah, because I think traditionally people with oily skin or breakout prone skin can be a bit wary of Yes. Adding a sunscreen. Yeah, absolutely. So because this is perfect. Yeah, absolutely. It's not going to clog your pores, and it actually feels mattifying, which is what you yeah, want. Yeah, definitely. Then we've got Solar Defense Booster, which is an SPF 50. Mm. This is a little bit different to these. Yes. Yeah, being a booster, this one has the ability to mix. Okay. So if you're using your skin smoothing cream or active moist um, and you want the flexibility of being able to add an SPF mm -hmm. to something, so it's quite ingenious, but yeah. it's actually an age old product. We've had it for, for many, many years. Um, but um, this you can mix into your moisturizer. So if you mix it 50 50, you still get a probably about an SPF 40, 42, something like that. So yeah. you still get a good high SPF. You can apply it neat for the full yep. SPF 50. After you moisturize, before? Um, yeah, or instead of. Okay. So if you, again, if you're quite kind of normal combination, you yeah. want something quite light, so you could actually use it as a moisturizer, but it is designed to give you the flexibility of customizing. So you could even put it into foundation, yeah. for an example. So that is your super flexible option yes. that you can pop into your normal moisturizer. Then we've got Pure Light, which is an SPF 50. 
And this is in the power bright yes. range? Yes, yeah. so this is for pigmentation mm -hmm. issues. So um, if you do suffer with pigmentation, brown marks on the skin, um, then you really, really need to use SPF because UV is one of your key triggers yeah. for pigmentation mm -hmm. in the first place, hence the, the higher SPF 50. Um, again, this has peptides and um, ingredients within our uh, PowerBright kind of line that really help to minimize overproduction of melanin or the skin pigmentation color within the skin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's a moisturizer with built in SPF. Yeah. And then we've got the Protection 50 Sport. Mm. This is a bigger tube. Yes. Don't tell us about this. Yeah, this one, Protection 50 Sports um, SPF 50, is designed for face and body. Yep. Hence the bigger tube because it is designed for, for body use. Um, I love this. This is perfect for all the family. Great. Um, it um, gives you your water resistance, so hence in the name, you know, if you're somebody who is sporty, outdoors, in the summer, I say face, body, all the family, great yep. all round. Perfect for having in your bag. Yeah. Uh, holidays, summertime, definitely. Yeah. Thanks Victoria, that's been really helpful and I hope it's helped all of our viewers. All of these products are available at Jersey Beauty so you can head over and check each of them out for yourself.